What's up everybody? I hope you guys are doing well. I know it has been a little while since I've updated my YouTube channel. I have been extremely busy, but I have not forgotten about you guys. I'm actually working on a podcast with my roommate Frederick that is going to be in Swedish that will be coming out on my YouTube channel. So don't worry, even though I haven't posted a lot of videos lately, I haven't forgot about you guys and I'm definitely coming out with more content for you guys soon. But in this video, I want to talk about something exciting because it's been so long and this is something that I've been thinking of because when you move to Sweden from a foreign country, one of the first things you notice is how beautiful the people are here. And whenever I have friends from America and they come to Sweden, they're like, oh my gosh, everybody is so beautiful. Like you go to McDonald's, for example, and there'll be a girl working behind the counter at McDonald's that is just like a stunning knockout. And it's like, that's the kind of stuff you don't see everywhere. And now that I've lived in Sweden for over two years, I've just gotten used to it and I'll be at a bar or something and not even think of it. And if I'll have a friend visiting from out of town, they're like, oh my God, everybody in this place is literally so beautiful. I don't understand. And I was like, wow, this is sad that I don't notice it anymore because I've become so accustomed to it and so used to it living here. But in this video, I wanna get into the reasons. Why is it? Why are the people in Sweden and in Scandinavia as a whole so beautiful? So I did some research and there's one thing that I think is a myth a lot of people chalk it up to the Viking culture. I actually just watched the first episode of that Viking series on HBO Nordic and the Vikings, they were just like brutal people, man. They would go in, they would be like pillaging villages, stealing stuff, abducting women, doing all this. And the theory goes, a lot of the people chalk it up to this, is that the Vikings way back in the day, they would always reproduce and abduct the most beautiful women wherever they would go and pillage and stuff. And so they would carry on the, the best DNA and carry on the genes. I think this is a myth personally. Do you guys believe that? Leave a comment down below. I'm interesting to see, but I want to give you my five reasons why I think people in Sweden are so beautiful. The first reason I got for you guys is that Swedish people are a little bit taller than the average person in the world. I know for a fact that people in Sweden are a little bit taller on average than the people in America. I think in America, I'm a little bit above average height and here in Sweden, I'm a little bit, maybe slightly below average height. I think it's like five foot uh, 11 is what I am and the average in Sweden is just slightly higher than that and slightly lower than that in the US. I just found out today doing my research that a lot of people find that long legs are a sign of good genetic and reproductive health. And that's kind of a bummer for me personally because I've always had really short legs and a long torso. So I had to find out the hard way doing the research for this video. Reason number two for you guys in this video is that a lot of the characteristics that are more common in Sweden are not very common in other places throughout the world. For example, a lot of people, they say that all Swedes are blonde hair, blue eyes, and this and this and this. And while there are more blonde hair, blue eyed people in Sweden than a lot of other places, when you come to Sweden, you realize that there are people of all different varieties, different skin tones, different hair colors, eye colors, everything. Uh, and for me personally, I don't really have a type of person that I prefer. I don't have a type. Like that song goes, I ain't got no type. All right, we can just stop it right there. I don't got no type. But in the entire world, only 8% of the world's population has blue eyes, whereas in Sweden, that's 79%. So just due to the fact that it is more scarce and it's more rare, I think it's more exotic for a lot of people when they come to Sweden and they see all these blonde hair, blue eyed people that they are not used to seeing. And in addition to this, scientists actually say that blue eyes scientifically are found as the most attractive eye color. And it's funny because I was talking to a girl the other day who had blue eyes and she said that I had the most beautiful brown eyes and all this stuff and I'm like, wait, brown eyes is the most common. Like, why are you trying to make me out to be this exotic thing? But maybe it's because there's so many people in Sweden that have blue eyes that it's less special for them. But for everybody else in the world that comes here, I think it's kind of like you like and you're attracted to things that you're not used to and that you don't see very often. So. Uh, yeah, I think that's why blue eyes are found to be so attractive by so many people just due to the fact that it's much more rare. And in addition, when we talk about hair color, blonde hair is actually associated with youthfulness and looking younger. Typically people with blonde hair 
will look a little bit younger than what they actually are, whereas people with other hair colors, it can be harder to hide their true age. And with that being said, there are a lot of blondes in the northern part of Europe because blonde hair does the best at taking in vitamin D, and because they don't get a lot of sunshine up here in the Nordic climates, blonde hair is very important, and so there's a lot more blondes in northern Europe than in other parts of the world. Of all the points in this video, I think this one, number three, is the most important for me personally, and that is that Swedes are in very, very good shape. As somebody that studied sports science and kinesiology in college, exercise has always been an extremely important part of my life, and I've noticed that in general, Swedes are the exact same way. They love to work out, they love to get outside, they really take care of their appearance, and especially take care of their bodies working out, being healthy, all of those sorts of things. And this is the statistic that is absolutely mind-blowing. In Sweden, only 12% of people are obese versus almost 40% in America. So many, many more people are in good physical shape. And for me, that is very important. I think the food can also play a role. In Sweden, people eat a lot less fast food. People tend to eat a lot healthier. Veganism is very, very big here in Sweden. A lot of people choose to eat vegan diets for health reasons and all of those sorts of things. Uh, so in general, I think that there's also less high fructose corn syrup and those kinds of things. So when you combine all these factors and you look at the food, it's easier to eat healthy here in Sweden versus in America. Of course, you can eat healthy, but there's so many options like fast food, unhealthy foods, all these things that I think in general, there's a lot of people that choose to eat less healthy in America than people here in Sweden. With that being said, point number four, this one comes down to the fact that people in Sweden, they genuinely care about how they look. I mean, hanging out with my guy friends, I've never met so many guys in my life that will spend so much time caring about their appearance, looking at the mirror, making sure their hair is perfect before they go out to the clubs and all this stuff. All right, maybe my brother back home. I might be that little bro, but we on some big things tonight, baby. But we were a special family. Like, in general, uh, Americans, I think American guys in general, if you care about fashion, it's not really like a manly thing to do, so guys, in general, they don't put as much effort into their appearance. And I was the same way when I look back at how I was in America. I was wearing sweatpants and basketball shorts to school every day. Uh, I wasn't really putting a lot of effort into my overall vibe and my look. And in Sweden, that's totally changed because being around people that care about their appearance, I've definitely taken my the way I dress and all of my style and everything to the next level. And with that being said, I wanna take a moment to tell you about this website where I've been buying a lot of my clothes lately, 2trendy.se, and I've got these stretch pants from their website, which has definitely taken my fashion and style to the next level. I would never wear something like this in America, but they're so comfortable. It feels like wearing sweatpants, so it takes me back to those high school days where I felt like I was wearing sweatpants, but then I look in the mirror and I look like a sharp, dressed man. If you guys want to get some dress pants like this, full disclosure, I do get a small percentage of all the sales, so if you guys do want to support my channel and you want to look very stylish, be sure to order some of those super stretch, comfortable pants from Too Trendy. There's a link down below. Whether you're in Sweden or not, these pants will definitely help you up your style game because I know it's helped me a lot. Point number five. This one is probably going to be the most controversial. I saved the controversial one for last year. And that is that Swedish people are less crazy than people in America. Now, let me explain. Now, in America, people, when it comes to style, they're much less afraid to stand out, take risks, and do things that maybe aren't the most attractive because they're more about individuality and expressing themselves, like getting weird tattoos on your face or like crazy hair colors or like eccentric styles that maybe are not the most attractive, whereas people in Sweden, they want to blend in a lot of times and they just care more about looking good rather than standing out. And I think to go along with that, in general, Swedes have a much more calm and collected demeanor, which I personally find very attractive. And people in Sweden, they tend to be just a lot less stressed and a lot less crazy in general, if that makes sense. Now, as an American, I don't think there's anything wrong with expressing your individuality. But I also think that when your focus is on looking good rather than just doing something crazy to get attention, I personally like the much more minimalistic toned down style. So with that being said guys, those are the top five reasons that I think Swedes are the most attractive. If there was anything you guys think that I left out, leave a comment down below because I would love to see what you guys think about this. Do you guys think that Swedish people are very attractive or Scandinavian people or what's your type? I know I ain't got no type, but wherever you're from, if you're a Swede, 
do you think Swedish people are attractive or do you find foreigners to be more exotic? That's a very interesting thing for me as well. But with that being said, I'm so happy to be back making YouTube videos for you guys. Stay tuned because there will be more content coming soon. Hang in there. It's going to be in Swedish on the podcast. Super, super excited for that. But for now, I'm going to sign off. I hope everybody has a great day.